Good morning, everyone. Myself, Mulli Reddy. In this video, we are going to discuss about what is soft link and hard link, what is inode number, how we can use it. We will discuss. Okay, let's see demo. First one, what is soft link? Simple example I can show you here. I'm in currently desktop. If you observe here, Google Chrome. Okay, if you see this properties file, okay, the size is, if you go to the details, the size is 2.15 KB. But this is a not original file. This is a shortcut link. Okay, the original file is available in here. Okay, the original file is available in C drive program files. Okay, got it right what I'm saying here. We can, the particular original file is available somewhere, but you can create the soft link, shortcut link. The shortcut link will be work. Okay, shortcut, shortcut link will be work. For example, if I click this one, it will be open. Because internally, the original file will be called and the particular original file will be there in this configuration if you observe this here properties go to properties here we, we are seeing right it is available in c drive okay same thing in linux also we can create a soft link okay what is the main uses of soft link the original file is available somewhere if you want to create the soft link that particular original file if you want to use it that original file as a soft link we can use you can create the soft link in linux if you want to create the soft link, you can use ln s. For example, this is a Muni is a original file. The size is 110 KB. Okay. Now I'm creating for this Muni to some soft link. Okay. ln s Muni. Here I'm giving Naresh. Okay. Enter. If you observe here, if you observe here, here is seeing Naresh, but it is original file is Muni. Okay. How we can identify whether this is a soft link or not? In first line, it will be showcased. Uh, it will be show like L. L means soft link. Okay. This is the soft link. This is the original file. If you observe here, original file size is 110 KB. But here, the, the particular soft link size is 4 KB. It means it will be act as a soft link. Okay. Got it right? What I'm saying here, original file will be there. I'm creating the soft link. The original file and soft link size will be different. Always soft link size will be very less compared to original file. Okay. And one more thing here. If you delete the original file, in case if you delete the original file, Muni file will be delete. Soft link won't be used. It won't be work. It won't be work. There is no use of soft link if you delete the original file. What is right? What I'm saying here, I have created a, one file that is a Muni. The size is 110 KB. I have created soft link for this Muni. If you observe the soft link size is 4 KB. Okay. This is the Naresh. In case if I delete the soft link size, uh, original file, soft link, it won't be work. Even in Windows also, if you delete that uh, Google Chrome in C drive, this uh, shortcut link, it won't be work. Okay. Fine, right? Got it, right? Yeah. And one more thing here, we can create a soft link for directory also. If you observe here, uh, directory size is 20 KB. Now I'm creating LM iPhone S. iPhone S is nothing but soft link. Venki. Venki to Bono. Okay. I'm giving Venki to Bono. It means for this Venki directly, I'm creating uh, shortcut link as a Bono. Enter. If you observe here, same. Venki size is 20 KB, but Bono size is 6. It is created shortcut link, soft link. Okay. In Windows, we, we can call it a shortcut link. For Linux, we, we can call it a soft link. Find that in case if I delete this Venki directory, there is no uses of this bound directory. It won't be worth. Okay. Find that any questions? Next one. Uh, the soft link, you can create both files and directory. And coming to the hard link, what are the uses of hard link? Let's see. For example, here we have a uh, Murli directory. Inside the Murli, uh, I have, sorry. Inside the Murli, I have a content, some hello, Murli the ready. Okay, fine. Now I'm creating hard link for this Murli. What will happen? Let's see. LN space the particular file name. Okay. Then here I'm giving Vinod. It means this Murli as a original directory, original file. I'm creating hard link. What will happen? Let's see. If you see here, Murli size is 25. Same thing, Vinod size also 25. Hard link, it will act as a mirror. It will act as a mirror copy. It will act as a mirror. For example, if I made some changes in Vinod direct, Vinod file, 
it will be reflected in Murli also. And one more thing, if you observe, it is created November 18, 241. Same, when you creating this from this particular file to hard link, the same file size also will be there, same timing also will be same. It will act as a mirror. Okay. Example here in we know the we know the file. I'm adding one content. Okay. Yeah, I am good. Example, I'm adding this content. I'm saving this file. Okay. Now, if you if you go to check this, we know. Okay, cap command, it is added, right? And again, I'm going to check this Murli file. Let's see, Murli file, I haven't added, right? But when you use cap command to see, in Murli file also, it is updated. The reason is, it will act as a mirror. When you're creating that hard link, it will act as a mirror. In case, if I delete this Murli file, it is a original file, right? Even if you delete it, we know the file, it, it should be worked because both are same files only. It will act as a mirror, okay? But... You can't identify which one is original because currently I have created from Murli to we know I can understand. But later some uh, team member is came if he is verify whether uh, which one is a original file in hard link which which file is hard link and which file is original file. You can't identify. The reason is we have same timing same size. You can't identify. But there is an option how to know whether two files having hard link or not using I know number, let's see. Later part, I will tell you. And one more thing, I'm creating hard link for RE directory. Okay, let's see. LM, RE, I'm giving here, uh, I'm giving here uh, Siva. Okay, from LM, RE directory, I'm giving to, uh, rename to Siva. Okay, if it's not renamed, I'm creating hard link. If you observe here, Hard link not allowed for directory. Remember this important thing in interval level also. Can I create the hard link for directory? You can't create. I'm currently I'm creating LM, R is a directory. I'm creating Siva. But hard link, it won't be support for directory. Okay, very important thing. I hope you understand that. What is the difference between soft link and hard link? Soft link, the original file size will be more compared to soft link. If you delete the original file, soft link won't be worth. And soft link, you can create a both directory and the uh, files. And coming to the hard link, it will act as a mirror. If you delete a old file also, it should be working because it will act as a mirror. If you might change a new file, or uh, existing file also, it will automatically update it because it will act as a mirror. And one more thing here, that the particular file name, the file size and file timing, everything will be same. Okay, what is it? Fine. Now, how we can identify uh, here? If you observe, uh, this is Muni. I can we can understand. Okay, Naresh is a soft link. But how about uh, Murli? Murli, I have created. We know how we can identify whether this is a hard link or not. Okay, if you want to identify, we have an option using I know number. Using I know number, you can identify. How you can do? Let's see. If you want to see the I know number, ls type on. Li. I means I know number. It will be displayed I know number. Remember, each and every file are directed. It will be create a unique I know number. Unique I know number. For example, we have created Murli. Murli file, this is 495805. We have created this Murli to Nares softlink, right? Softlink ID is different. If you observe here, 495780. This one is 495805. This is a original Murli. And soft link ID also different. But when it comes to the Murli, Murli file is 495483. And we have created from Murli to we know hard link, right? Hard link also, I know number will be same. It means when you creating the soft link, original file and soft link file are directed, the I know numbers are different. But when you creating hard link for the particular file, both original file and hard link file, both are I know numbers are same. Using this I know number, you can identify easily whether this is hard link or not. Okay. I hope you understand right. Any questions? No, right? If you have any questions, feel free to comment. I will try to respond as soon as possible. Thanks for watching this video. We will see you in the next video.